The NXT women's division is just flat out insane, and it's not an overstatement to say that this is the best era of NXT women's wrestling since the four horsewomen dawned in the WWE. We have future superstars like Cora Jade, Lola Vice, Gigi Dolan, Lyra Valkyria, and of course, the former NXT women's champion, the buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, the wrestler with glitz and glamour that can flip the switch anytime and destroy everybody. For the avid NXT fans out there, you know Tiffany Stratton is the the real deal, especially when she proved herself worthy when she stood up against one of the greatest wrestlers in the world, the man, Becky Lynch. In this video, we're going to showcase the wrestler with the prettiest moonsault in the business, Tiffany Stratton. Stay until the end of the video as we reveal Stratton's life before WWE and Paul Heyman's controversial take. In 2023, we saw Stratton's wrestling career take a complete turn. At just 24 years old, Stratton has become one of the faces of NXT by winning the NXT Championship. And what was the highlight of her year? Matching up with one of the greatest, Becky Lynch. Becky has been rampaging for almost a decade in the WWE. She main evented WrestleMania. She's been a multi-time champion and a two-time winner of Pro Wrestling Illustrated's Women's Wrestler of the Year. Becky has done it all, and she even took the NXT title just for fun. Becky has her sights on NXT, so the match against Stratton became inevitable. Of course, when you have a proven phenomenal star in Becky Lynch, you're gonna wonder, despite being the NXT champion, how will the rookie, Tiffany Stratton, keep up with the man? Many wrestling fans doubted Stratton's ability to put on a show against Becky, but little did they know that ever since she was a kid, Tiffany's mindset has been set to give absolutely everything everything to the things she puts her heart into. Behind that lavish makeup and sparkly costume is a wrestler who is willing to give up everything she could. A competitor who is not willing to give up. Born in the city of Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton, unlike most wrestlers today, was not exposed to wrestling early. It doesn't run through her family bloodline. Her first calling was nowhere near sports entertainment or mixed martial arts. At such a young age, she found solace in gymnastics. I mean, where do you think she got that prettiest moonsault ever. Her agility, her high-flying moves, and her finesse all come from being a gymnast. Ever since she was in high school, Stratton has been actively participating in gymnastics competitions in Colorado, Rhode Island, and the 2016 Winter Classic in Battle Creek, Michigan, where she got second place. Have you seen her gymnastic montage on her socials? It's just insane. She was doing wrestling moves out there without even knowing it, and you just know that that's the root of her excellence inside the squared circle. And mind you, she wasn't just a mediocre gymnast. She was even selected as a team member for the U.S. Women's National Gymnastic Team for the 2016 Summer Olympics. An Olympian, just like Kurt Angle, who won a frickin' gold medal with a broken frickin' neck. You just knew she was gonna be special. And if that's not impressive enough, right after her illustrious career in gymnastics, Stratton took it up a notch and set her sights on a more daunting task, bodybuilding and weightlifting. Behind those colorful makeups and glittering outfits is a gym rat pulling and lifting barbells that double her own weight, even setting a record in her weightlifting class. She was also competing in bodybuilding contests and bikini opens, which just filled her already stacked resume. She said this, I was a bodybuilder and I got on this Snapchat reel and they did a compilation of me working out, me posing and stuff like that. And they called me the buff Barbie. She wasn't even in the pro wrestling industry and yet she had her own highlight reel from bodybuilding and gymnastics. From what we've learned about Stratton so far, one thing has become evident. She was ambitious. She always had high hopes for herself and was not willing to back down from any fight. And after years in gymnastics and bodybuilding, Stratton shifted gears and pursued an unlikely career path, the world of professional wrestling. It just made a lot of sense. Wrestling was just perfect with the strength that she got from weightlifting and the agility and gracefulness in gymnastics. I mean, that's all the tools you need when you step inside the ring. With the skill set never in question, there was just one thing left, the character. And for Stratton, it was an easy choice sticking to that buff Barbie persona. She said this, I thought it was kind of cute and was like a good parallel between being this cool girl that works out, but also into glam and hair and makeup. So I kind of wanted to stick with that when I came to WWE. Stratton also believed that gymnasts are just naturally gifted in wrestling. It just comes naturally. Just a couple of months in the WWE's Performance Center and you're good to go. That's a shout out to WWE. You might need to scout some of your future superstars on those gymnastic teams. And at last, in 2021, after training under the supervision of former wrestler Greg Gagne, Stratton was called up in the WWE's Performance Center along with other recruits that included the Tribal Chief's right-hand man and the future Tribal Chief, Solo Sokoa. Stratton breezed through the Performance Center 
Center and impressed a lot of the higher ups, including Shawn Michaels. And in just two months at the Performance Center, Tiffany Stratton would make her debut in a taping of 205 Live. Ah, yes, the 205, the nostalgia of featured cruiserweights just flying everywhere. The WWE universe was graced for the first time by the glamorous persona of Tiffany Stratton. With a little twist in her gimmick, she was the daddy's little princess. And well, let's just pretend that her first gimmick never happened. After her first match in 205 Live, Stratton quickly climbed up the ranks of the NXT women's division. Her moveset was just far superior to most on the roster. That triple jump moonsault of hers was just a thing of beauty. I mean, those years of practicing gymnastics on the trampoline certainly did not go to waste in the ring. After a few impressive matches from Stratton, she was then invited to the annual NXT Women's Breakout Tournament, replacing the injured Nikita Lyons. Stratton would then have a great run in the tournament, defeating Fallon Henley in the semifinals and going short against the future NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. After that tournament, it was evident that Stratton would not last long in the business, but would thrive on it. She has the potential, the character, the charisma, and especially the skills to become a future champion. Don't trust my words? Well, you might want to hear it from an expert, from a guy who can see true potential in the business, from the wise man himself, Paul Heyman. In an interview with Fox News, Paul Heyman had this to say about Stratton. Tiffany Stratton is someone that Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and Bianca Belair, and the main roster women better keep their eyes on because she's another one who, if she continues on this path, is going to be a significant player in the future of this industry and leading the industry industry into the future. Receiving that kind of praise from the advocate himself is truly the highest form of flattery in the WWE. With Stratton having all of the momentum coming out of the breakout tournament, she suffered a minor setback as she went out with a head injury in October of 2022. But this injury just set up a massive comeback for the buff Barbie. On January 20th, 2023, on NXT's New Year's Evil, she cut a promo reinventing her rich girl persona and completely dropped the daddy's girl part of her gimmick. The first massive W. With a persona inspired by Paris Hilton, Tiffany Stratton continued her cruise for that coveted NXT title. 2023 started with a bang for Stratton as she picked up huge victories against the likes of Indy Hartwell, which set her up to qualify for a ladder match for the NXT Women's Championship finally her first crack at the NXT gold. Unfortunately for Stratton though, her time has not yet come as she lost her first opportunity for the title. But the good news is it certainly wasn't her last. On May 20th, 2023, the current NXT champion, Indy Hartwell, relinquished the title and set up an NXT eight women tournament for the title. And who's leading the charge? Tiffany Stratton. In a series of awesome matches, demolishing Gigi Dolan, a payback to Roxanne Perez in the semifinals, and ultimately an instant classic match against Lyra Valkyra, finally, Tiffany Stratton was on top of the NXT women's division. And it's not just another title. WWE announced that Stratton made history as the 100th woman to ever get a gold in WWE history. There weren't a lot of shocked faces in the WWE universe when Stratton won the title. It was just a matter of time, and that time has come. Stratton then dived on in with a feud against Chase University's Thea Hale, where she defended her belt twice. And with her third ever title defense, however, she was forced to defend her title against a wrestler named Becky Lynch. Suddenly, the man just wanted to wreak havoc in NXT, and well, the rest is history. Stratton stood her ground, proving that she can be a wrestler that can keep up with Becky Lynch's level. Tiffany held her own in a very tense situation with Becky Lynch and looked great doing it. It was because Tiffany knew how to present herself, and she did quite well, Paul Heyman said, giving Stratton her props. With Tiffany Stratton already creating waves in the industry, will Triple H pull the trigger and give her a shot at the main roster? Is she a future WWE champion? Leave your comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.